Hey guys, welcome back. So the update happened today. The treasure chamber, uh, fortune, or whatever it's called, is in here. Uh, you can get a lot of good loot in there, but you can also, uh, you know, spend gems on the skulls to like resurrect. So you have a 50-50 chance to actually pick a chest that has loot or items or gems. Uh, but then there's also a 50 chance to get a skull, which kills you and makes you not be able to select any more treasure chests unless you pay gems but I have a video on that uploaded so you can take take a look at that in action I wanted to talk about some of the hidden things that came there's actually a lot of ways to get more free gems now so we went over here to the shop area and now you'll notice that these two icons the little cat thing and the granny thing are brand new and they're free ways to get gems so I haven't even gone into the cat one yet we're going to click on it and see. So it's coming up with Dragon Story. Build the city of dragons. Create new habitats. So it looks like it's an ad for a new game. Download free today. So it looks like if you install the free app. It looks like you get free gems somehow. Um, so I'm not sure how many gems. We're going to try and in install this app here. So bear with us as we install. Because honestly, I mean, if they give you free apps to download, I mean, it's not a big deal to download apps unless you're on a plan that where you don't have uh, unlimited data or something like that. Uh, if it's only going to give you a few gems, it's not worth it. If it's going to give you a good amount of gems, then I see no reason why not to. Every so often when you need gems to you know, go download a, an app that's free. So we'll open it. Okay, we don't want to play, so we are going to leave, and we're going to go back into Royal Revolts. I'm going to see how many gems it got credited. I actually don't remember how many gems I had on my account, so if it does pop up a little, the gems coming out here, we're going to have to go back and rewind and watch the beginning of the uh, stream here. Oh, so we got one gem. Very, very, very good. Uh, sarcastically speaking. Um, so yeah, so definitely downloading the apps are not good. One gem is not worth the time and effort. So we're going to go take a look at this next one over here. This one I peeked at real quickly, and it looks like you get a good amount of gems for signing up for offers. So let's see what this is. Okay, so this is one of those typical sign up, get gem things. So compare quotes. So you can get 741 gems for a free trial of Hulu. And so offer valid for new subscribers. Sign up with a valid credit card, personal information. Uh, so you have to uh, you have to keep this for 48 hours to get your reward. Oops. So we'll go back in there. So it seems like one of those little um, referral bonus shop things. Apologize for the thing being uh, upside down or sideways. If I were to flip it, it's going to change, and, and the whole video thing will get messed up. So if you are actually interested in any of these things, like if you're interested in three Disney movies, $1.99 each with a membership, 
You can get gems. So you can see there's a way to get some gems. These ones are all, all seeming to cost uh, money now in here. So there's some free ones though, like this one over here, the free credit score. Uh, you get 741 gems for free. Interesting, this Elma one says uh, $3.99, but then it says free down here. So we'll click on it and see. Uh, preschool learning with Elma, just $3.99. So yeah, so that's not free as it was advertised down below. Yeah, so definitely be careful with this over here. Because you can get gems, but a lot of the stuff will want a, a sign up and then you'll have to cancel it. So they don't actually charge you. So there are other ways to get free gems now, but they uh, appear to be a little bit more time consuming and you know, you could potentially have to pay money to do things. But if you're already going to use those services anyway, uh, might as well. So we are on Bladestorm here. And we'll take a look at his uh, Chamber of Fortune real quick as well. So we're going to do a quick raid. Just spin the wheel here. Okay. Okay. You have to get 100 or not 100 percent. You have to kill the castle gates in order to get into the treasure chamber. So we're gonna attack an easy person to make sure that we get into the treasure chamber. And it's gonna be interesting to note what the difference is in rewards for a lower level player versus a higher level player. I've shown off the uh, Jason W accounts a few a few minutes ago, so there's a video up there on that. On his treasure chamber, we went through I think four of them. And then the other big thing is the metals have changed dramatically. Uh, so you can't really farm open bases anymore. Some players are seeing uh, big increases in metals for tougher opponents. And a more balanced system on the metals. So in about a week or two, the leaderboards should probably um, even themselves out. And the leaderboards will change dramatically. Because the record holder gets to keep that spot for about one week. So there we go, and you can see the treasure chamber over here. You can't click on it, you have to click continue, and it actually just takes you to the treasure chamber. So you can find chests, and right there we have a skull. Um, so it does cost gems to keep going. So it's actually cheaper for a lower level character to keep going, which is interesting. So we'll go ahead and try it just for um, video sake here. Another one. So it goes up. Do it again. <laughs> we got all three of them. So it goes again. So 17,000, 25,000, and four gems. So the gems appear to be the same. 
the gold is roughly the same. We'll go through and attack that player again and see. So we have 336 gems. And so now the metals can also go down to like zero. So you'll see some opponents that are giving out zero metals. Most likely those will be straight bases with no defenses. The zero metals may be changing soon, uh, but you know, as of right now, there are bases that are giving out zero medals. So just let that be known. It's not a super crazy thing right now that is only happening in your game. So every time you click on one of the skulls, you have to pay gems to keep going. Um, and it got progressively higher as you click. So in 4, 7, and then 13. So we end up spending 24 gems. We got 4 gems back. And then we got an extra 40,000 or so in gold. Definitely not worth it. So we'll go there. So we got 26,000. So we got gold that time. We got a skull. Uh, we'll actually give up, and you'll see the rewards do actually get better as you level up. Because on my other game, we got 110 bread or so, and on this game, we got 67 in the chest. The gold seem to be about the same. I have seen uh, 100,000 in gold in my other game. But yeah, so it appears that the loot will slowly increase as you level up or if you attack harder opponents possibly we have to test that out more to figure out but yeah so that's the treasure chamber those are the new special ways to get gems uh, let me know if you guys find anything else that is hidden in the update that I haven't covered yet